Jeffrey's go-to website is YouTube. He has the website bookmarked and through muscle memory, he ends up back here every single day. He's sick of YouTube. He spends so much time on this damn website. He knows the knowledge already. He knows what to do. He just doesn't do it. And so he wastes time searching for the quick answer. Adonis doesn't know what YouTube is. You shouldn't trust anything that you see on YouTube, including my videos, because we're all lying to you. You think that the purpose of the video is to give you the value presented in the title. But that's wrong. The purpose of the video is for the YouTuber to get as high of a click-through rate and audience watch time so that they can either make more money or grow their business and their audience. That's why the overwhelming majority of the videos that you've clicked on have over-promised and under-delivered the value that they presented to you. It's taken me years to get to this level of critical thinking and so I hope to get you here much faster than it did for myself. Self-improvement YouTubers especially are like a little repulsive community of under delivering the value that they present this one stoicism trick will change your life 24 hours shut up andrew kirby 24 hours to to reset your mind and the fitness youtubers exact say oh uh, uh, pizza or the salad which one am i gonna shut up v shred v shred bro you have to think of youtube like a social media it is exactly just like a social media it's becoming as common as just having your own instagram and snapchat account on social media the extreme sides the things get more popular because either someone is on that extreme side or someone is on the opposite side and that creates that that discussion and the argument in the comments i'm making this video right now i'm giving more of a highlight to these YouTubers who have went on the extreme side because that's what's profitable. They're not trying to help you, they're just making the purpose of the video seem like it's supposed to help you. But the hidden agenda, which sometimes is a little bit hard to grasp, is just to think that this is all for the YouTuber's benefit. When a few of you guys have said to me that, oh, oh thank you for the videos, like it's so amazing that you're doing all this for free, I just think, no it's not. Like, okay, let's say I'm not selling anything, right? This isn't exactly free value. This isn't like free help. It, you know, it, it'd be really nice for me to say, oh yeah, my purpose is to help the guys on self-improvement and then uh, uh, here's all the, the, here's my hours of work every day and I'll teach you guys. But the thing is, I'm gaining a lot. Like my life is literally getting better every few weeks because of these videos. Now to you, it seems like they're free value, they're free education, but to me, it's, it's a business model. It's me, yes, it's me teaching what I've learned and technically it's free for you to consume, but I'm still profiting quite heavily from it as all of the, the metrics go up, the likes, the, the audience watch time, the subscribers, and I learn how to make better videos that actually keep people watching for longer. My bid my, my business, my, my business grows alongside it. Out of your ego and your feeling of importance, you want to believe that the YouTuber's success equals changing lives. When in actual fact, the YouTuber's success equals changing their life. That's the point of YouTube, that's the point of social media, that's the point of, of the book and whatever work and the charity and the volunteering and pretty much everything that the overwhelming majority of people do. We do it for the reason that sounds good, which, ah, oh, my purpose is to help young men, but the real reason, at least a big contributor to the real reason is, yeah, I'd like to be a YouTuber, I'd like to make online income, I'd like to better my life. The author who makes the life-changing book is like, oh, I just wanted a story to tell the, the kids. No, you just wanted to have the best-selling book so that now you're officially an author and this is your life now and you're pretty wealthy. We do things for ourselves. And the issue with this is because YouTube, the way it works, you almost have to lie to the viewers to, t to get them to click on the video to make it almost seem like you're doing it for them. And by being on this platform, you open yourself up to distractions and social comparisons. It is a social media. Everyone tells me so proudly, oh, Hamza, I've, I've quit social media, but you keep watching my videos though. So why are you lying? Oh, YouTube isn't a social media, but you're, you're experiencing the exact same disadvantages 
by being on YouTube and watching my videos as some insecure 13 year old girl would be by scrolling on Instagram models. You're seeing the exact same shit. You're looking at my body and my videos and, and even though you don't have the confidence and the, the humility to admit this, you're feeling a, a little insecure about it. Your mind and your testosterone went a bit lower. You've just seen yourself get degraded in the social hierarchy when you see someone do better than you. But you've quit social media, congratulations. But you haven't quit YouTube. All of my videos will seem very, very tasty to you. You will see the thumbnail, you'll see the title, and you'll want to click on it like a dumb little retard, like a crackhead. You'll try and get that next high. And you will click on them. And your life won't change. Why? Because YouTube is predominantly for entertainment, not education. There's very little education on this website, even though you'll probably say, oh, but uh, YouTube's the website where I've learned everything. Yeah, technically that's true. That's just because you haven't learned much from any other website. And because you go onto YouTube for three hours a day for the last 10 years, that's why it's like the height of your education. But you literally just go on a different website which is made for education and within a month your your mindset of how good this website is for education would be changed there's such little quality education on youtube because education doesn't sell here youtube needs those antics that you know the the focus of increasing the audience watch time the click through rate and the entertainment factor no matter what the niche is whether it's some vlog or it's self improvement videos or it's a book review whatever it is the purpose is to get you watching for as long as possible and education doesn't do that entertainment does so when you click on an educational youtube video just know that it's technically still an entertainment video and if you're like me, you're not searching for entertainment. You don't need external entertainments. You don't want the entertainment of normal people on a fucking screen. Real life is entertaining. Just, just existing is entertaining when you're on a dopamine detox and you don't play video games and you don't watch much YouTube and you don't do any of the easy dopamine activities. And so what are you benefiting? Have my videos really changed your life? Or is it just your fragile ego and your desire to feel important that has you commenting saying that I've changed your life? How different is your life really? Don't lie. How different is your life since before you found my channel? If it hasn't changed much, you shouldn't trust me either. <laughs> but now, now time for the call to action. If you like this video and you want to see more videos from an unconventional small YouTuber, make sure you scroll down and click on the uh, subscribe and the post notification. <laughs> Bro, YouTube's funny, man. <laughs> Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.